Howdy folks, Congo here, back with another episode of Simple Guides. Today we will be talking about the American Tech Tree Carriers. In the first episode, we'll be talking about the Ranger. This is the Tier 6 American Carrier. We'll be going over uh, upgrades, um, equipment, uh, commander skills, signals, and then we'll take it on to a game and show you how I would play it. So, starting with the modules. Uh, First, I would upgrade is the dive bombers, uh, taking them from tier five to tier six. Uh, you get a bit more health, a bit more speed, uh, but more importantly, you get two more spaces on your deck. So you go from twelve to fourteen, and you change the the attack flight. So you go from eight eight planes in strikes of two to nine planes in strikes of three so you go from four strike groups to three strike groups uh and then i would upgrade the torpedo bombers this again increases plane hit points plane speeds and number of aircraft on deck as well as the number of aircraft actually in the attack so you go from six to eight and then uh you can go for the hull upgrade or the rockets whichever you want and then take the other one afterwards it, it the rockets, you get a little bit of speed and a little bit of health, but on and and a couple extra rockets in the payload, so you might want to take this more, but it's up to you. Upgrade wise, air groups mod one, uh, aircraft engines modification one. Uh, I'm running aerial torpedo modification one. Um, this just gives your torps a little bit of extra speed, uh, cause base they are 35 knots, which is really slow it is incredibly slow so that little bit of extra torp speed helps and then finally in the fourth slot bomber modification 2 um kind of the flavor of the tech tree carriers uh for the americans is these hard-hitting high explosive dive bombers so you want to buff their hp as much as you can for commander skills uh Pretty straightforward first nine points, air supremacy, uh, improved engines, aircraft armor, and then survivability expert. For a four point skill, I have bomber flight control. This increases the cruising speed of my dive bombers. This is pretty good on the American carriers. Because of how good your dive bombers are, a good tactic with the American carriers are to come in with your torpedo bombers, set a flood, and then when a battleship repairs the flood, you can come back with your dive bombers, and with this, this lets you come back 5% faster, in which case you can set permafires that will burn for the full or most of the duration while the enemy ship doesn't have the repair, because the longer... It takes you to get back the faster the less time you have for them to burn without a repair without their damage control and then for the two point skill i have secondary armor and expert uh this is more for uh perma captain for the ranger um if you were moving this captain up you have an option to take either torpedo bomber or swift fish personally i would take swift fish because your torpedoes are slow, and the arming distance on them is already really good. It's, without Swift Fish, it's 361, and with Swift Fish, it's 379. So it's not that much of a difference. And that 2, two knot extra speed is actually pretty nice. It, it can help you to catch some of those destroyers or some of the more maneuverable cruisers um, off guard. It's not going to help too much against the battleships, um, but some of the smaller targets it will be helpful whereas uh torpedo bomber only reduces it by 36 meters so 325 um it, it's more personal preference i i personally prefer the the faster torpedo speed um in this case on that on the american carriers just because the arming distance is so short so i would probably take this and then uh Site stabilization, uh, because the arming time or the aim time of the American carriers is actually pretty slow. Um, so this is what I would take. I would take Swift Fish and then Site Stabilization as opposed to Secondary Armaments. Um, but if this is a Perma Captain, then I would take Secondary Armaments and then maybe Swift Fish and come back or Site Stabilization and then come back for Swift Fish. Um, the Secondary Armament, much like on the uh, Ryujo at Tier Six for the Japanese. 
is helpful to bump your AA up just a little bit to help against taking damage because as I mentioned in that guide you have no armor very very little armor and in fact ranger is notorious for actually being citadeled by high explosive rockets um, and you have no bolts protection as well so having that little bit of extra AA helps for signals uh, speed flag AA flag pretty standard and then fire flood this is just to facilitate uh, the dot damage that the ranger does with the floods this will force the repair and then the victor lima that extra fire chance but more importantly it's for the flood chance we want to boost the flood chance because when a ship uses their repair in the flood that's when we want to come back and strike with the with the dive bombers to set up perma fire so go ahead and head into a random battle and see what we get now as a tier six carrier it's kind of 50 50 whether you'll be top tier or bottom tier or middle tier um tier six is kind of in this weird place where sometimes you get up tiered sometimes you get top tier sometimes you're middle tier it's kind of hit or miss it's not like tier eight where you get up tiered all the time it's it can vary a lot so we'll see uh We'll see what we get. And, of course, Tier 6 is also... You're still in that region of occasional double carrier games. Whereas Tier 4, it's basically always double carrier games. Tier 6, it's... Occasionally, you have that option for double carrier. Uh, so we will see. Uh, there are five carriers in the queue, so it's very possible we will get a double carrier game this time. Let's see. So it is a double carrier game. We are bottom tier, and it is a six six eight carrier game. So that's pretty brutal matchmaking for us. Um, in terms of ships we can strike, um, Edinburgh's got pretty good AA. Uh, Gneisen has pretty good AA. Amagi actually is pretty notoriously bad AA, even for a tier eight um helena eh, okay aa Fanta the destroyers are, are not scary at all so they're probably the destroyers and maybe like the amagi or the new mexico if she's isolated are probably going to be our our priority targets that we're going to want to harass um it is standard battles turn my range indicator on um, it is standard battles, so there's no caps for us to defend or uh, spot for. So the destroyers could be anywhere. Um, so we will see uh, where our friendly carrier spots um, and where the enemy planes are. Uh, it is actually a mirror matchup for the carriers. It's Lexington Ranger versus Lexington Ranger. So um, let's see. So go spot the enemy base uh, and see. Maybe we can spot uh, the enemy fleet. So there's the Amagi. And both the enemy carriers are on that side of the map. So that's good. There's the Edinburgh. Ooh, that's very bad. We don't want to go near that guy. Back my plans off. Gneisen's over here. It looks like Gneisen's coming over here as well. if there's a destroyer going wide or if he's hugging close if he's hugging close we're not really going to be able to spot him because that edinburgh is there um she's just kind of kind of ruin what we're doing so i'm actually gonna try and see if i can sneak in on this edge and maybe strike this amagi uh i might get a fire i might not and we just actually did just spot one of the destroyers and it was the farragut and he's sitting back there we're gonna take the dive bombers out. Um, probably gonna. I might. Oh, and we actually spotted the fantastic as well. I just noticed on the mini map. So that's that's good to know uh, that two of their destroyers, the two destroyers over here, are the fantastic and the Farragut. So that gives our Aki kind of a bit of information. Um, I am going to go drop fighters for our Akazuki because it looks like the Ranger rocket planes are about to spot her. Yep, and they just did. 
Bird is smoking. Uh, the Fantast, uh, is kind of pushing. I'm not quite sure. Amongi might be towards, so I'm gonna actually go bomb the Amongi. It looks like she might eat Torps. She did, in fact, eat Torps. Ah, oh, unlucky. No fires, unfortunately. Just gonna keep focusing this Amagi. As I mentioned, Amagi, very, very weak AA, even for a tier 8 battleship. She's actually get very notoriously weak AA. So if we can set her on flood again, because I mean, there's a Cleveland, there's a Turbit, and there's an Akatsuki. So I'm assuming she's gonna be on fire in multiple places. Um, having probably just used her repair on the flood from the torpedo she just took. So if I can set another Flood, that will guarantee that she's dying. Uh, because she can't escape. And she might even die before our Torps connect. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna... Uh, maybe not. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, that's okay. She went down. We made sure, even if, um... She hadn't died there. Those, those Torps were more to ensure that she did go down and that there was there was no chance that she was going to get away from that because uh, we didn't want her to get away especially as a top tier battleship that's really good to get one of their top tier battleships out of here now we're going to go focus the Lenfan Pass and probably the Helena uh, they're the next biggest threats it looks like the Fantastic is actually running um, so we're actually going to go spot her again because uh, we know she's low, and as a French DD, she does not have a smoke screen, so she can't hide from us. Her only hope is to shoot down the aircraft. So, she might go run for the Edinburgh. Um, we don't know where the Edinburgh is. Actually, the Edinburgh just got spotted, so we know exactly where the Edinburgh is now. Way over there. Where's the next go? So try and kill her. If we don't kill her here, we'll come back with the dive bombers. Try and kill her that way. Yeah, so we'll come back with the dive bombers. I'm gonna just skip over the island, and go straight for her. Because we know she's low, and if we can get rid of their destroyer, that's super good. Because we've already lost uh, one of our destroyers. So if we can get rid of their destroyers, that's really good. Because they have all four of their destroyers still alive. They're fantastic. I might go see if that Farragut is moved. Because um, he was last spotted in H3. We haven't seen him since. Let's see if he's uh, moved or not. But I want to go kill this fantastic. I'm assuming she's probably going to uh, try pushing towards her New Mexico for A support. And in fact, that's exactly what she's doing. Um, you got to give a lot of lead on some of the, on these French destroyers because they are bugging fast. She's actually trying to juke us by slowing down, but I noticed that, so I'm going to anticipate that and drop there. And we do, in fact, hit her and set a fire, but she has repair. Let's see if we get another fire on her. If I can get another fire with this dive bomber, I will actually just kill her. Because she just used her repair on this single fire. Ah, oh, she lived. Damn. Unfortunate. So what I want to do is I want to move my carrier like right there. Uh, that's a super good spot for the carrier on on this particular map, especially uh, in this early game because it's it's pretty close to the center of the map, which means I can spread out my influence a lot and I can I can get anywhere and it's protected from the enemy carrier trying to strike me. Kind of hoping one of one of my DDs would be able to kill him, uh, but it doesn't look like they did. So I might have to go do it. Mexico is flooding. I don't know if he has no repair, um, 
or if he's got floods in multiple spots. I'm gonna drop them there. Although it is New Mexico, it is pretty nimble. Concentrate fire on the designated target. But just turn back in, so I'm gonna come in from the side drop. Ah, he might die. Unfortunate. So I'm gonna take the dive bombers out, and I did hit him with a, a with one. Still didn't kill that fantastic yet. Their Akatsuki is low as well, so that might be another target we go and kill. Um, so we know two of their destroyers are low. The Akatsuki is low, and so is their um, Fantastic. So if we can find them, we can kill them pretty easy. Although well, I'm assuming. Oh, hello. My Farragut is actually AFK. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find this Akatsuki, or this Fantastic, and then I'm going to sickle my torpedo bombers next. Oh, there's the Akatsuki, which is really close to the next go, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I am surface spotted by Edward. Seems he's been struggling to pick up Edward, I might have to pull myself. Attention, reporting the target position. So, I'm gonna go torque the uh, Farragut because I know he's AFK. Uh, if I can, I can torp him. It will kill him faster. Because uh, dive bombers are a bit RNG. And it looks like the Lexington just killed the. being shot at by, I believe, the Edinburgh, but that's fine. I've got health. Just, I've got a bit of health, and if he wants to waste his time shooting me, that's not a big deal. Oh, this Farragut might have woken up. He's not over here. Oh, no, he is. There he is. He's still AFK. Okay. Yeah, the, the Edinburgh is, is just shooting me, which is fine, because um, I doubt she'll kill me, and... If she doesn't kill me, it, it doesn't mean anything. Destroyer. And I will drop this Edinburgh now. Oh, she died. I'm actually just gonna cycle the payload. So, it, it didn't really matter that the Edinburgh was shooting us, uh, cause shooting us means she's not shooting my Cleveland, she's not shooting my Akazuki, and I had enough health that I was pretty all right in taking that damage because uh, I was pretty sure she wasn't going to kill me in time and in fact she didn't so she was just kind of doing chip damage but in the grand scheme of things um, it wasn't enough to kill me and therefore it was fine because I'm still fully capable of doing anything with this amount of health um, Mexico there you go there's a fire not sure. I think she might have just repaired that fire. So I'm actually gonna kind of take my time and line up this drop because I know she's got her repair active, so I'm probably not gonna get another fire here. I'm wasting as much time as possible. I might get lucky and time it. No such luck. That's okay though. I'm gonna move my uh, carrier down now uh, because. I don't know where their Albemarle is, and it looks like their Ranger and their Chicago are coming to strike. Um, and their Albemarle might be pushing up to strike me, uh, to, to come shoot me. 
because uh, she was last spotted heading this way. Uh, and having taken some damage, I am somewhat low. She is pushing up this way. I, I, I kind of had a feeling she was. So now we're in a kind of dangerous situation where we are killable by the enemy carrier. And we need to hustle on out of here as fast as we can. Because we are quite vulnerable to being killed. Uh, having taken all that damage from the... Um, from the uh, Edinburgh earlier. Uh, their, their carriers could definitely come kill us, and it looks like they're not actually coming towards us. It looks like they're going for the Cleveland. Now we can um, just keep this album on spotted because um, we can see the Akazuki has smoked out. Uh, so if we can just kind of keep this, this, or we can see our Akazuki has smoked up. So if we keep this album on spotted, he can just gunboat. Um, and that, and that's kind of the plan is to just let him gunboat. Yeah, we actually took a shot at. Me. He actually just straighten this, so. Oh, overturn. Oh, look at that Jimmy little sod. I don't think it'll matter. Uh, I think he will die to uh, the Aki Spire, so. Oh, and he didn't. He actually just died to me. So, I will take that. Select so the Cleveland, just killed their Ranger. I'm going to help the Cleveland with the Farragut. Um, and maybe, oh, look at that. And the Fantastic got spotted by the Lexington. The Lexington should be able to kill the Fantastic uh, just because he's low. And I actually don't have any fighters in the strike group, which is unfortunate. So I can't actually give fighter protection to my Cleveland because I have no fighters. Oh, nice. He actually just killed them. Sweet. That means it's hunt for the uh, Lexington, but I have a pretty good idea. I know where the Lexington is. Um, she's probably sitting behind this island, I would guess. And the Fantastic to the Lexington Secondaries. That's not surprising. Um, we knew the, the Fantastic was, like, super low. Um, we left her on, like, a thousand health. Like, less than a hundred health. So we knew she was, like, mega low. The question is, is, where is this Lexington? Oh, there she is. Cleveland is capping, um, but I don't think the Cleveland doesn't really have any health, so. Um, unfortunately, she's probably gonna die um, before she can cap.
Oh boy. That's not good. I did it again. I've made a mistake. I thought my dive bombers had uh, things still. Um, no. Kill them? Yeah, there we go. We stopped the strike. Perfect. Autopilot mode enabled. So I'm actually just going to head to the camp. The problem now is that I'm all out of fighters in both my dive bombers and torpedo bombers. I only have fighters in my rocket squadron. Um, and I'm going to drop fighters here. This, those are going to be for the Akazuki in case the Lexington tries to uh, torp him. Um, if he goes for me, um, I'm just going to have to go to my carrier hull and try and torp dodge. Uh, because that, that's all I can do. Um, I need to protect my Akazuki so that she can cap. Uh, or at least contest the cap. That way, because I have no health. Uh, let's be fair, clear here. I am going to die. There is no way I can not... I can prevent him from striking me. Um, so I need to... I need to buy as much time as I can for my... Uh, my DD. more time I can waste of this Lexington is less time that he is striking my destroyer. I get it before it arms. I did in fact get it before it arms. I need to keep turning. I need to keep turning so that the Lexington can't get another drop. Sector. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. He messed up the drop. Perfect. And with that, it looks like we're going to win. Uh, the time is going to tick out. The Lexington just doesn't have enough time to come back and kill me. And she doesn't have the Alpha Strike to kill the Akazuki in time. Uh, I don't know if the Akazuki still has a smoke. If she does, then she could just smoke up. Uh, but in this case, um, she went. the Lexington went for me because I used fighters and it was torpedo bombers. I knew I had a good chance of dodging the torpedoes just by turning in and reducing the amount of damage um because my bow was fairly it looked like my bow is mostly if not fully saturated if i ate one torp i'd probably survive it um but if i ate more than one torp i'd i'd have just outright died and if she'd had dive bombers or rocket planes they would have just outright killed me but because they were torpedo bombers i knew i could drop fighters on my uh akazuki and buy enough time that even if i died we would still win on points and in that sense, we did win. 61k damage, a um, bunch of plane kills. I did get a dev strike, uh, killing their uh, their AFK destroyer in the spawn, just getting rid of him as soon as possible. Um, it is just points. We needed the points. Um, and we were second on the team, which is, you know, as a bottom tier carrier, that's, you know, that just kind of shows you the, the amount of carry that even as a bottom tier carrier, you can still do. So... All right, so that was the Ranger. Uh, in the next episode uh, of Simple Guides, we'll be talking about the Lexington, the Tier 8 carrier. So if you like what I'm doing, give a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.